What's up guys, Shark Gaming here coming to you with another PES Mobile video and today I'll be showing you a friendly with another PES Mobile YouTuber, Pesky Maestro. You guys can check him out, the link will be in the description below as well as the comments and more than likely it'll be in the iCards above. So yeah, I've played him around three times, I think this was the third meeting, the other ones we were playing with our second accounts and yeah, I think I won both of them. But in this match, it was really, really different because I'm playing him and the match was really, really, really intense. Even though the goals don't really show it, but it was just constant attacking for the entire match. And it went all the way down to like the last part of the match. So here you have me, like basically playing my regular ball game, attacking down the sides, trying to get in across. What had happened is that I had, because Joey Felix was off form, I had subbed in Hazard from left wing put on richardson in left wing and put hazard as a second striker the problem with that is that tactically hazard if i'm supposed to use hazard i wouldn't use him for that purpose that I, that you saw earlier in the video i don't usually cross balls to hazard hazard is the one that has to do all the crossing because richardson and kane are the ones that have um the good heading ability so that's why hazard didn't um win that header a while ago so i was using him wrong at first but i have lukaku on bench the new featured lukaku so i, I subbed him on later down in the match but yeah this part of the match was just me trying to get a lot of opportunities in and trying to break the deadlock by scoring a goal but it just wasn't happening i guess that this video can also like show you guys the simple mistakes that you guys are making not necessarily as bad as what i'm doing because as you can see a while ago he like overpassed because he believed that the ball wasn't even going to his defender a while ago simple mistakes that we all make because of the regular pest logic as you can see here ramos is <laughs> murdering his abameyang right there so i'm grateful for that i accidentally passed back to ramos and he slid right there so i was like okay cool i can turn and clear the ball i cleared it and richardson collected it properly so i said let me go down the wing and try to cross it in sadly i didn't get to cross in the ball but i was there first half ended it was nil all i had taken two shots two shots on target he had taken one one shot on target so the match was pretty even it could have been two one right there could have been one love could have been one all so right now i'm still pretty confident right there as you can see that i'm making some simple simple errors like miss passing the ball and everything so i'm just trying to like at least get in a shot properly so you see me here trying to attack down the wings and i guess that he discovered that that's what i was trying to do so he started blocking me down on the wings what i've realized with at least myself is that like every single time that i have the ball and i see like a couple of his players coming towards me this is on a regular online match i always get flustered and just try to um pass the ball or kick the ball or something like right here i got a golden opportunity but he just didn't score i thought that with myself i would have probably tried to cross it but i guess because i don't know i don't know what i was thinking mid game right here i thought that he was gonna do a true pass straight to um his player that was making the run but luckily he didn't and varan came to the rescue so the game is pretty neck and neck right here and i'm just waiting to get like a golden opportunity to score uh i'm more of a counter-attacking person and i'm using a counter-attacking manager Right here you can see that I tried to spread the ball to Richardson by using Kraus but it just wasn't good enough. So you know basically the game is neck on neck. So it's the 91st minute and I'm like okay it's the last opportunity of the game. It didn't go through. I know that once he kicks it off the, the um, whistle is going to blow. And so it did. So we went into extra time now. This is where it gets really really interesting. Um, I, I made some subs. I finally put on Lukaku and I made all three subs. I don't remember who I put on but I just know that I made all three subs. and. I decided that yo i need to score now but even though i'm really really good at penalties like i don't have i don't think i really lose penalty shootouts and right here i gave away the ball and i was like oh my god what if he scores right here so i tried to call my second defender just to intercept the ball which he did and i said okay sending scores forward and i just gonna make some quick passes on the wing hopefully to get the ball and richardson has the ball now but nothing is coming out of it because as i said it's like i see his players coming toward me and i just start making some foolish passes instead of actually being composed using the skills or the dribbling techniques that i know so i send back the ball to oblak because if i tried to kick that he would have probably taken it and then it would have been a one-on-one -on -one which would have caused problems so beckham now is in my midfield he's playing some good balls i don't know why lukaku started running back 
but I think here is where I made that breakthrough finally I thought that I was offside but I said yo might as well take a shot I said Richard said, hurry up hurry up hurry up and I said you know what Beckham let's just curl it <laughs> and it scored and I was like yes 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 because usually I try it and it don't really score for me but I guess Beckham had the prime opportunity right there and I'm glad that it worked so now is the start of the second half of extra time and I'm like well what am I going to do should I score a goal or should I you know defend I tried to score a goal and his defender made a great save and I was like Jono so I tried and I'm there trying to take shots and nothing is coming out of it I'm even sending balls back and I'm like why is this guy keep on defending everything watch me trying to take shot but then scores just skies the ball I guess I put too much power on that it's the 113 minute and he's still attacking and he has one of the best strikers in the game which is Romario so I'm like I don't want him to take a shot Ramos for some reason didn't get to the ball in time I don't know if it's some sort of scripting and then this happens Firmino scores the header and I was like oh my god this looks like penalties because you know as you resume the game and you kick off pass it around it's 120 minutes it's not even that quick so I was like oh dear this is definitely the end well it's a very very good goal that by my teammates so i said you know let me go back on the attack trying to go in the attack i actually misplaced the pass so i ended up passing back to my keeper i just send the ball out long ended up getting a throw and i said well it's one last attack you know so I might as well try it reach out and dead ass tired out there but hey i'm gonna try getting across ball goes back i send the ball straight to reach and up from to Saul. Rich also sends it back to Saul. Luckily, he gets it, and I just try a rocket, and it scores <laughs> on the 122nd minute. So I know that once the whistle blows, the match is over. So that was just a late drama. I'm glad that happened. It was a very good match. As I said before, the matches with pesky Maestro is always close. They're always close, and the stats here were really. It could have gone either way, even though he made four saves and I made two, but it could have gone either way. I'm grateful. And I'm glad that this is how it ended up. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.